was more horrific than you could have ever anticipated. Two factions at war, and so many eager to choose sides. Before long, the planet was engulfed, and those refusing to take part had little hope of survival. The Circle of Light was convened. The decision was made. And under the cover of fire and pain and death, we slipped away. To begin with, we didn't go far, but when the war spread out to the other planets and systems, we realized we'd have to take more extreme measures. We found somewhere new, somewhere inconspicuous and hidden. Underground. We had the beginnings of his society, a new Cybertron. Those who chose to come with us were mostly scholars and scientists. The rest were those fleeing for their lives, not wishing to take up arms in an ideological battle. No sickness, no poverty, no one forgotten to fall between the cracks. You have no right bringing a Decepticon here, Wing, let alone revealing yourself to the slavers. He was in need, Diatlas, as were the prisoners in that camp. He is a Decepticon. He is one of our kind. Decepticons are not our kind. So after all these years of preaching against factions, we've created our own, is that it? We are the Circle of Light, the guardians of Cybertron's ancient culture. You know our laws. We must not involve ourselves with any outsiders. Nothing is more important than preserving what we have here. At what cost? Our own compassion? Those prisoners need us. He needs us. If he goes to the surface, they'll kill him. His ways could influence our people, Wing. His very presence could potentially bring more Perceptions here, and with them, the war we fought so long to avoid. Violence is their only language. If he betrays us, if he destroys what we have here, the burden will be yours and yours alone. For now, the Decepticon is your responsibility. You will stay with him at all times, and he is not to be exposed to the people of the city. He won't betray us. I know he won't. <laughs>